Welcome back to season two of Guardians of Gaia, connecting people and planet. I am Megan Edwards. Now, Global Handwashing Day is about worldwide advocacy dedicated to increasing awareness about the importance of hand hygiene. More than that, also, it aims to trigger long lasting change from a policy level to community driven action. The day also emphasizes on the washing of hands with water and soap to decrease the spread of waterborne diseases and to, of course, curb the COVID-19 pandemic. The Department of Water and Sanitation's Western Cape Provincial Operations, in partnership with the Matsikama Local Municipality, chose to commemorate the day with the launch of the Clipron project. The 13.5 million rand project assisted in eradicating 56 platine toilets uh, in the area and also built flush toilets for residents. The project also included the launch of an oxidation pond, wastewater treatment pond and a reservoir and a reverse osmosis facility. In the northernmost corner of the Western Cape, two hours away from Friarendal, on the other side of a gravel road, hides the suburb of Kliprand. The small town in the Matsikama municipality is home to only 63 households and 250 residents. In June this year, the town faced its first cases of COVID after 18 months of avoiding the pandemic. Kliprand saw 12% of its residents testing positive in just a week. But two years before the surge in COVID cases, the National Department of Water and Sanitation with the Matsikama municipality started the Clipran Water and Sanitation Project, including the eradication of 56 pit latrine toilets and the installation of flush toilets instead. The launch also introduced an oxidation pond, a reservoir and a reverse osmosis facility. Now, four months after the surge in COVID cases, the project was launched in October on Global Hand Washing Day 2021. This is a global advocacy day dedicated to highlighting the significance of hand hygiene and activating change from the policy level to community-driven action. Washing hands with both water and soap is also stressed on this day because this cuts the spread of waterborne disease and curbs the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. Through this project, 54 local job opportunities were created during the implementation. The project was labor intensive and brought job opportunities to local plumbers and artisans. As the rain poured down on Kliprand, we saw the launch of the new facilities. This handover not only commemorated Global Hand Washing Day, but reinstated dignity into the Kliprand community. This is Guardians of Gaia, connecting people and planet. It's Megan Edwards for CTV Channel 263. And today we're in Kliprand at the Matsikama Municipality for the Kliprand Water and Sanitation Project. Was officially open by the executive mayor of Matsikama local municipality, Ms. Matilda Bynes. <laughs> 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 So from this project, what we have, we have better quality water as well as sewer that is going to the, that is flush, that is going to our oxidation pond. As we're launching this project at Clip Draft, where people didn't have access to basic water and the basic sanitation. Therefore, we saw it fitting fully to today's event to say, because now they will have access to water and sanitation for the first time in their lives. Therefore, we saw it necessary for us to come and launch it here, because what is happening, we're saying sanitation is dignity, water is life. Then the reason of us coming here, we thought that it is important because South Africa is a water scarce country and more specifically this area is a water scarce area. There we saw it important that we must come and educate people about the importance of saving water. At the same time, the importance of protecting the infrastructure. But the, import, the very most important thing is the washing of hands with soap and water but while we're doing that 
we need to save water. So we saw it uh, that it is right then we come and educate them so that they can understand and have an idea of why it's important to wash hands with soap. Because there is a pandemic as well, globally, which is not a South African issue, it's a global issue, then a pandemic, if we wash our hands with soap, then we can save lives. That was the reason for us coming here today. I'm currently standing inside of the Clipfront Water and Sanitation Project um, a Reverse Osmosis Reservoir. Can you introduce yourself, please, and uh, your involvement here today? Uh, thank you so much. My name is Ruben Sol. I am the currently the acting municipal manager of the local Matsukama municipality. Thank you so much. So more about the Clipfront uh, water and sanitation project and of course the reverse osmosis and everything going on here today. Why now? Uh, why at this time? Uh, in, at this time it is very much important, you know, obviously to bring that better life to the community. And obviously water, as we, we all know, is life. And sanitation, as we spoke on this morning, about the dignity of the people. So this time it's critical for us uh, so that the people of Clubrand, the community, can get that um, basic water, as we all refer to. Thank you so much. I absolutely agree. Talk to us a bit about all of the stakeholders involved here today. Yes, obviously we would we'd love to start with the Department of Water and Sanitation. With this uh, funding, it will not be possible for us, you know, to erect all this, uh, what is here in Clebrand, and particularly this reservoir, uh, and uh, the other uh, combo as we referred to the, today, but the local Machikama municipality is a stakeholder, and as well, obviously, the contractor and the local community, they are all stakeholders in this very much important project. Fantastic. So what are the future plans for other communities just like the Clipron community? Yes, we have a local community exactly uh, in the Machikama area, such for, uh, as Papanod, where about uh, 60 community households also is. Uh, we have the um, uh, Ritpoort community, which is part of this area. It's just on the op uh, other side of the road, which is the N7 leading all the way to Namibia. But uh, the plans, definitely, we are already, you know, in um, appointing a contractor. There's already at work, 40% of work has already been done in report. And this definitely to bring very much, you know, all water to the local community. That is what we need it for. It seems the most important customer, if I may say so, is the community. But how did you get the community involved, if at all? Absolutely. You will recall that we have our um, uh, local meetings, where, where we call it the IDP meetings, Integrated Development Plan, where we consulted with the community on basically on two occasions, uh, early in the year in April and then late in the year in September, October. So that is the platforms where the communities express, you know, obviously they're wishless uh, what they want to do and obviously how they're going to partake in the local development, in, the, in particular in the area. So they've highlighted the need, they've said it to us, and sometimes it's not always possible to get the stakeholders on time. But in this instance, uh, we are very much fortunate that we, the Department of Water and Sanitation uh, obviously can pledge the funding and make it happen for the local community. Of course, I'm still at the Clipfront uh, Water and Sanitation Project. And with me today, I have Ms. Henne, uh, acting a provincial head of the Department of Water and Sanitation. Ms. Henne, what was the department's involvement in all of this today? Uh, the department's involvement generally. We, we, we make sure and we have uh, diff various uh, grants that we you know, make available to communities specifically for water and uh, sanitation infrastructure. So today we are here at Clipbrand to, shall I say, showcase or maybe launch um, the, this, uh, um, this uh, uh, reverse osmosis and uh, the toilets, 56 toilets and the oxidation pond. And we, we have actually served, what is important is that, you know, we, the uh, peat latrines, we replaced the peat latrines with 60, 56 waterborne toilets. We have out of the 56 households, four households belong to people with disability, old people with disability. And together with that, uh, with courtesy, um, the, the contractor, 
they actually made the, the accessibility. So they put the toilet and made sure that um, the ramps are, are built so that those old people with disability, they're able to go to the toilet. We have spent 13 million. So this community or the municipality approached us to say, here is the issue. And with one of our grants, which is water in, in infrastructure uh, grant, which is WISIG, uh, we gave them the 13 million. So that 13 million um, gave them all these uh, four types of services, which are actually related. So we are proud and really uh, encouraged by this community in this whole region. Uh, um, we have spent, this is not the only project, we have spent close to 50 million uh, with other communities um, providing water, water and sanitation infrastructure uh, projects. We still feel, you know, the project is completed in 2021. The project is, we say, it, it's really on budget and on specification and on time because, uh, you know, it was just the, 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 the COVID-19. For it not being the uh, COVID-19, we would have done this last year in 2020. Even though the people of Kliprand have made do with informal systems up until now, for most of the community, the installation of these facilities meant having flush lavatories for the first time ever. The project stakeholders evidently pride themselves in delivering the launch on time, on budget and on spec. When we come back from the break, we will visit with uh, Mrs. Bierkes, a resident from Cliprant. <laughs> 